Having all your most important and frequently used notes in one easy to access place is one of the most powerful productivity tricks that you can use. Simple yet very powerful. In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm stealing an idea from Steve Dotto. Yes, sorry Steve, but I'm stealing your idea because it's a fantastic idea. Now a few months ago I watched an episode on the Dotto Tech YouTube channel, link up there, in which that Steve was talking about his favorite features in Evernote and one of the things that he actually has is something he calls his anchor notes. Now his anchor notes is everything that's important to him and stuff that he frequently accesses all in one easily accessible place. It's such a simple trick and I can't believe I never thought of it before but it is such a powerful productivity trick that you can use yet again really really simple. It just goes to show that simplicity is really important. Now if you do find this episode useful and you learn anything from it please hit that like button because that really does help me to be able to help many other people and by the way head over to Steve Dotto's channel too and hit that subscribe button because Steve does deserve a lot of credit for today's episode. Okay let's go into Evernote and I will show you how to set up your very own Anchor Notes. So here is my anchors label because I use it as sorry label I say tag and it is a tag simply because I do have all these like student notes related to my FES business which is not related to my content business if you like my content and think if it courses for example also comes from my uh, my CPP notebook uh, notebook. So I use this as a tag and it's saved as a favorite. As you can see up here, it's down as a favorite. So it's down inbox, uh, current and anchors. And I know that it is command three on a Mac. It will take me straight there. So for example, if I go to my inbox and I hit command three now, it will take me straight to my anchors. So because I know my shortcuts and the order they are in, I can get to them very, very quickly. So I have my newsletter edition. So for those of you who are not subscribed to my newsletter, basically each week I uh, send out a newsletter with all my content that I've produced. And at the bottom of the newsletter, I put in uh, three or four articles that I've read that week and three or four videos that I've watched that week. And I will put the links to those in the newsletter. And this is where I add them. Now I created the newsletter early this morning, so it's all clear right now, but they are here for me to add throughout the week and I have a drafts action note for that. So those of you who watched the episode last week on drafts, you know that drafts is this is a note that actually drafts will send to because I'm usually reading articles directly from my cell phone. I also keep my student notes here because this is something that I would re reference every single day. So after I've been teaching a student uh, in my language business, I will add notes as I'm coming home on the subway or on the bus. I will add notes about the class, what the students have learned, what they can learn. And I also have here a number of items that I send to all students each week, which is just a little bit extra for them to, to learn. I also have my Thinkific course note links in here because a lot of students, uh, people will email me asking me about various courses and I can link them to the, the correct place. I also keep my anchor text. Now my anchor text is actually quite interesting. This is essentially uh, all the stuff that I would put into my ev into my YouTube videos uh, notes. So I have one for uh, Todoist, uh, which is here, so I can, people can sign up to an Evernote account from my Evernote one, and my Todoist one is here, and again, people can sign up for an Evernote a Todoist account from here. So they're all slightly different, so I keep them in here, so when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I can actually send them out uh, I got the access to the text right there, just copy paste and send it in. Of course, I also have my bucket list in here and I keep important links. And in there, I keep all the links that I'm going to be referencing on a regular basis. This was such a light bulb moment when I saw it on the Steve Dotto video. And I'm really sorry that I can't find the original video, but I do have 
uh, I have a link and I will link into the co the show notes the video where he does reference it and also I've got my coaching program links in here for people who are wanting to do a coaching sessions with me then I can send them the appropriate links that they need so this anchors tech uh, this anchor as Steve Dotto called it and I do love that name this is one of those uh, labels or shortcuts that I have tags that I have that I access every single day without fail which is why it's in my shortcuts all I have to do is do command three and I'm straight into it. And this is one of the reasons why Evernote is open up on my uh, screen every single day. It's, it has its own separate screen. I'm adding notes to it all day. Now, yes, I know other, other notes apps can do the same thing, but this Anchors Notes is just wonderful because it doesn't have to be notebook. I mean, you can create a notebook for Anchors, but uh, I find tagging is better because then I can keep the notes in their relevant uh, notebook but at the same time, I have access to all those notes that I do regularly hit. So as you can see here, I have, I'm have i accessing these quite frequently or changing these quite frequently. And that like the text for YouTube was 3rd of March. The student notes, of course, I did the updates last night, the feedback last night, so that's all done. And this morning I was doing the newsletter, so obviously I, I've been accessing that. So think about how you can use this this is actually a really really simple but really effective way of being able to manage your notes particularly the notes that you're accessing on a regular basis and i should point out that you can have more than one tag so i've got here student notes current and anchors there's tags in here it doesn't really have to be in current actually but i've just got it in there and by the way just to remove a tag because this is actually true it doesn't have to be in there you just redo that and it's done it's removed from my current list so this is just one of those things that as i said it's a light bulb moment for me and it has saved me so much time it's got i call it my anchors all the notes that i'm regularly at, at, uh, using or referencing are all in here equally uh, by the way if you're working on a specific note and you're working on a specific project and you're accessing a note on a regular basis then again you can just add the tag anchors once you finish with the note once you finish with the project you just remove the tag anchors and it will remove it from your list which is another reason why i don't actually use uh, a notebook for this i much prefer to use a tag okay hopefully that has given you some great ideas if you have found this useful don't forget please hit that like button because that really does help me to help other people and thank you very much for watching this week's episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.